Hey everybody, welcome back to The Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? When I was a little kid, one of my favorite meals was SpaghettiOs. But for some reason, my parents very rarely got me SpaghettiOs with meatballs. So on the rare occasion, when I got a can of Beanie Weenies, another favorite of mine, or a can of SpaghettiOs with meatballs, it was an extra special meal for me, which called for a free McDonald's collector's glass filled with my favorite Kool-Aid. If you grew up in the 70s like I did, you remember these glasses. I'd always eat the SpaghettiOs first and save the best for last, the meatballs. And when my kids were growing up, we'd only eat canned foods or frozen foods every once in a while. But for the few times they had SpaghettiOs, for some reason I never tasted them. But now with grandkids around, SpaghettiOs are around much more. So I decided I wanted to try them and see if they were as good as they used to be. So I picked up one can of Campbell's Original SpaghettiOs with meatballs one can of Chef Boyardee mini spaghetti rings and meatballs, and one generic can of Food Lion spaghetti rings with mini meatballs. So let's give all three cans a try, starting off with the Food Lion brand. This is spaghetti rings with mini meatballs made with pork, chicken, and beef in tomato sauce. This 15 ounce can costs 99 cents. Now there's a few ingredients in here, but one I do not see is textured vegetable protein. But one I get asked about a lot a soy protein concentrate. And here's what it is, and here's what it does. I don't think you can buy a canned or a frozen food anymore without some sort of soy product. They say the serving size is one cup, and there's two servings per container. But even as a kid, I'd eat this whole can, no problem. So if you're gonna eat the whole can like I did and still would, double up on these numbers. There's 250 calories, 11 grams of total fat, 3.5 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 20 milligrams of cholesterol, 600 milligrams of sodium, 780 milligrams of potassium, 29 grams of carbohydrates, 3 grams of fiber, 9 grams of sugars, and 9 grams of protein. So let's get these out of the can, into a bowl, and heat it up. And just an FYI, out of all three cans, the Food Line can is the only one that didn't come with a pull top tap. You can heat these up on the stove top or the microwave. Obviously since they're being poured into a bowl, we're going to be microwaving them. But before we microwave them, I want to see how many meatballs are in each can. So after using all of my fingers and all of my toes, I started getting scared. But fortunate for me, we wound up with 20 meatballs. A couple more meatballs and I would have had to break out the calculator. 20 meatballs? That really surprised me. That's a good amount of meatballs. So after 90 seconds in the microwave, our Food Lion spaghetti rings with many meatballs are ready. And I started using a regular metal spoon but for the life of me, I could not get it to focus up close. So what did I go for to save the day? That's right, it's been missing for a long time. The spoon of soup. Not to be confused with the state-of-the-art, scientifically designed, razor-sharp, plastic soup. So after a good mix with the metal spoon, the spoon of soup took control. So I tried a meatball by itself first. And honestly, I expected to bite into a spongy mess. The texture wasn't perfect, but it was meaty enough to enjoy. It did have a decent texture, and you can definitely tell there's a good amount of filler in it, but the texture was decent, and the flavor was decent. Next, I tried the spaghetti rings with the sauce. The spaghetti rings were pretty good, though a little bit mushy, which I really expected, but the sauce was a little bit on the bland side. From what I can remember from SpaghettiOs, the sauce literally tasted like Campbell's tomato soup, with just a hint of sweetness. Then I tried the spaghetti rings, the meatball, and the sauce all together. All together, it was pretty good, I was still fairly impressed with the texture of the meatballs. The sauce could have had a little bit more flavor, or at least maybe sweetness, and I don't even mind the spaghetti rings being a little bit mushy. I mean, they weren't fall apart mushy, but you could pretty much mush them between the roof of your mouth and your tongue. Chewing was optional. Now let's try the Chef Boyardee mini spaghetti rings and meatballs, which is pasta and meatballs made with pork, chicken, and beef and tomato sauce. This 15 ounce can costs $1.48. The ingredients look to be about exactly the same as the Food Lion brand. Again, there's two servings per can. But if you're feeling hungry and you're going to eat the whole can like I would, multiply the numbers times two. There's 250 calories, 11 grams of total fat, 3.5 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 20 milligrams of cholesterol, 600 milligrams of sodium, 780 milligrams of potassium, 29 grams of carbohydrates, 3 grams of fiber, 11 grams of sugars, and 9 grams of protein. 
So let's get the spaghetti rings and meatballs out of the can and into a bowl. And they look to be exactly the same as the food line bread. So again, let's scoop out the meatballs and see how many there are. Now, I don't know if this is a coincidence or not, but once again, we have 20 meatballs. And the meatballs have the same shape as the Food Lion brand, and the appearance of the spaghetti rings and meatballs also look like the Food Lion brand. So could the Food Lion brand be Chef Boyardee? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's give it a try. And once again, I tried the meatball first, and it appeared to be exactly the same. And that was until I bit into it. Just by tasting the meatball alone, let me know 100% that Food Lion spaghetti rings and meatballs are not made by Chef Boyardee. At least the meatball recipe is not the same, because these meatballs had a really weird texture to them. They were really mushy and had a really gritty texture to them, with very little flavor. So then I went in and tried just the spaghetti rings and the sauce. And again, the rings were a little bit mushy, and again, the sauce was on the bland side, but it was a little bit sweeter than the Food Lion brand, but it also had a metallic taste to it. So then it was time to take a bite of everything. The spaghetti rings, the meatball, and the sauce. And with everything together, it was certainly better than the meatball by itself and the spaghetti rings and sauce by itself. But still, the texture of those meatballs, to me, is about as funky as you're going to get. It almost had the texture of raw cornmeal. Now for Campbell's SpaghettiOs with meatballs, which is pasta and meatballs made with pork, chicken, and beef, and tomato sauce. Now here's a little bit of history for you. SpaghettiOs were originally invented in 1965 by the Campbell's Soup Company, but they weren't under the Campbell's name. Now when I say the name they were under, anybody around my age that grew up in the 70s should remember it. SpaghettiOs were marketed under Franco-American. I remember as a kid, Franco-American was a big name. And if I remember correctly, they had really good spaghetti and meatballs in a can, and they also had a really good mac and cheese in a can. Those were the good old days. This 15 ounce can of SpaghettiOs also cost $1.48. Now the ingredients are different than they were in the Chef Boyardee and the food line. They're actually much different. One thing that stands out the SpaghettiOs uses breadcrumbs versus cracker crumbs like the other two, as well as some other ingredients. There's also about two servings per can, but the SpaghettiOs have fewer calories. Per serving, there's 230 calories, 7 grams of total fat, 2.5 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 35 milligrams of cholesterol, 600 milligrams of sodium, 330 milligrams of potassium, 31 grams of carbohydrates, 3 grams of fiber, 10 grams of sugars, and 11 grams of protein. Now let's get the SpaghettiOs out of the can and into the bowl. And the first thing I noticed, well these were a lot thicker than the other two, and also quite a bit thicker than I remember. I remember them being just a little bit soupy. But these you had to work a little bit to get out of the can. Now let's see how many meatballs are in the SpaghettiOs. and there ended up being 21 full meatballs, plus a little speck. So right off the bat, the SpaghettiOs were looking better. There's always room for more meatballs. So like the other two, I tried the meatball first. And as soon as I bit into it, it took me right back to my childhood. The taste and flavor of the meatball tasted exactly like I remember. The texture was nice and smooth, but meaty, and they weren't rubbery or chewy at all. Next, I tried the SpaghettiOs, and again, the flavor took me back. The sauce tasted just like Campbell's tomato soup, but just a little bit sweeter. The SpaghettiOs still had a little bite to them. They weren't mushy at all. They were just delicious. And finally, it was time for a bite of everything. The SpaghettiOs, the sauce, and the meatball. And once I put it in my mouth, so many memories popped into my head, and all I wanted to do is go hop on my big wheel and race down the hill with my friends. It's so funny that something you had so long ago can taste exactly the same as you remembered it and bring back so many memories. So finally, I really wanted to test my palate and I wanted to do like I did in the chili throwdown and combine all the cans together into a big bowl. 
Once all three brands were in the bowl, I gave it a stir and popped it into the microwave. Now I knew I wasn't going to be able to tell the difference between the sauce and the SpaghettiOs once they were all mixed together, but I wanted to see if I could tell the difference in the meatballs. And I gotta say, it was really easy discerning which meatball was which. To me, there was that much difference in the three. And it's also gonna go for the overall product's rating. So let's rate these from worst to best. Overall, the Chef Boyardee, in my opinion, were the worst. The sauce was a little bit sweeter than the food line, but it had that metallic taste to it, and the meatballs were simply horrendous. The Food Lion brand was decent. The sauce was bland, but it didn't have the metallic taste that the Chef Boyardee sauce had. And the meatballs had a much better texture, although the Food Lion meatballs and the Chef Boyardee meatballs both were bland, I gotta give it to Food Lion because of the overall texture. And the overall winner, hands down, was Campbell's SpaghettiOs with meatballs. They were night and day compared to the generic and the other major brand. The pasta was better, the sauce was better, and the meatballs were much better. Somehow I'm going to have to make up for the past 30 years or so and work a can of SpaghettiOs with meatballs back into my diet at least once a week. It's all about moderation. And that's exactly how I keep this chiseled, Adonis-like physique. Moderation. And if you believe that, I have some oceanfront property in Arizona I'll sell you for a good price. If you'd like to help support the Wolf Pit, consider being a patron. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month, that's only $12 for the whole year. Or you can pledge more. That's up to you. Either way, every little bit's appreciated and helps me produce more high quality videos more often for you, the people. Thank you all very much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.